Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoteric, and we've got a fun episode for you guys this week as we're taking a look at the PlayStation PSX. This is a PlayStation 2 that's also a DVR unit, plays PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 games. Well, it would play PlayStation 2 games if the laser on that end wasn't broken. This is a notoriously difficult to deal with device, but I bought it for a very specific reason. One, to show you guys. Two, because I'm going to be using it to capture a series that's coming up next year. Before we get to Fire Emblem, though, do me a huge favor, go down below, hit like, subscribe, and that notification bell definitely helps us out. And if you feel so inclined and want to support the channel, we got a Patreon link down in the description below as well. But the PlayStation 2 DVR or PSX DVR is a really interesting console because it is massive. Basically what this is, is a PlayStation 2 and a DVR built in to one box. You'll see we have memory card slots, we have buttons to go through the menus, USB, Memory Stick Pro, and we even have a quick game button because you can't just exit out of the game because this is a DVR unit, not just a PlayStation 2. But it's a really interesting design, although weirdly, both the PlayStation X logo and the Sony logo are backwards. If you're actually looking at this, you're seeing everything upside down. Clearly, the engineers that made this, they were not from the PlayStation division, they were from the Sony division, didn't quite know how to put this thing together. But taking a look in the back, you'll see all the different ports, power, ethernet, toss link, optical audio. We have a D sub terminal as well, that's a Japanese version of component video. And then we have composite ins, as well as S video ins, and notes as well as you'll see here two controller ports that are put in the worst spot imaginable it is almost impossible to plug controllers in and out of this unit it takes forever and of course because this is a dvr we have coaxial cable in and out you can use this as a dvr and there is some actual fun stuff on the hard drive that i'll show you guys momentarily but another dumb design decision is all of the text is upside down. The PlayStation 2 PSX is on its back right now. The only way to read this is to turn it upside down, plug things in, and then carefully turn them back up again on the right hand side. I don't understand why they would have designed it like this. There's also a big recess that makes it really hard to get your hands in. It's just a really weird system all around. What you're going to want to get yourself is a D sub terminal. I'll leave a link in the description below because these can be quite useful. It's a Japanese only connection, but Amazon does sell them. I think it was $15, not the best price, not the worst price, but I will leave you the guys that link. But you'll see here that D sub terminal is near impossible to actually plug in. There is so little space between the plastic housing of the PSX and the actual port itself that plugging this in becomes maddening. You really do have to do this upside down and then turn the entire console around to get things actually working. But now that we have that D sub terminal, you'll see we have our component connections and we just need to get the audio from the RCA red and white white jacks. It's a lot of cables, but it does work and it's no different than using any other sort of PlayStation 2 component signal. But you will see the massive size difference. Obviously, this is a PlayStation 2 Slim, but the PSX is a gigantic box. If you put the PlayStation 2 next to it on its side, you're going to see that this console is absolutely massive and it's got a lot of good shelf appeal. I absolutely love the way it looks. I bought this on a whim because my PlayStation 1 wasn't reading Japanese PlayStation 1 discs and I figured, hell, for the channel, for captures, why not do something extra fun because I needed to pick something else up anyway. But of course, because this unit doesn't play PlayStation 2 games, what it really is is a glorified PlayStation 1. And these systems, the PSX, are notorious for not playing PlayStation 2 games because there's two lasers in there, one for PlayStation 1, one for PlayStation 2, and that also can burn discs from the DVR. But most interestingly is, obviously it can't play PlayStation 3 games, but the cross-media bar, the OS and GUI of the PlayStation 3 got its life started on the PSX. So as opposed to talking about it, let's just jump right in. Now I will say I cut out all the static noise because when you turn this console on, it just goes to a snow image with the operating system in the background and oh my god is it ever loud the only way that you can get rid of this and it makes no sense is you need to go all the way to the left and select the first option in settings that'll get rid of the snow and give you a clean image again i don't know who designed this thing but they made some of the weirdest choices ever but now that we are in you'll see all the different options just like a playstation 3 if these servers were still live, of course I would have shown them to you, but you could get different bulletin boards for different companies, Capcom, Konami, Bandai, Hudson Soft, EA, 
they were all having these different online portals so you could actually check things out from the PSX. And you'll see here, if we go to the left, we actually have a lot of content on the DVR. And let's put it this way, I can only show you some of it because the previous owner, whoever that was, had some interesting late night TV habits. But this is worth the price of admission alone. I gotta let you guys listen to it. A kickboxer kicks people in the ass. Enjoy, I'll be back in 30 seconds. And you're welcome for this. If anybody knows what that show is, leave a comment below because I actually want to watch a full episode. It's got me intrigued. And I will say the previous owner, that late night comment, there is porn on the console, but it's nothing weird. It's nothing different than you or I might potentially watch if you're into that sort of thing. But I know what we're here for. You want to know how this operates as a game console. I will say the only game they played was a winning post seven. That's the only save on the entire system. But you'll see here that you get a little option when the PlayStation one disc is inserted and it gives you a message just saying that it is loading it up. This does take a a lot longer to load than a standard PlayStation 1 or PlayStation 2 would. That's just one of the issues with the console. It is slow. But I will say this has some of the best audio and video quality out of any PlayStation or PlayStation 2 I've ever used. And I'm going to be using this to capture PlayStation 1 games moving forward in the future because my PlayStation 1 is very temperamental at reading discs and my PlayStation 2 does not read Japanese discs. I flashed the BIOS on it with a mod and it plays PlayStation 2 import discs perfectly fine, but it still refuses to take PS1 discs. So I just really love this console for a number of reasons. One, it's just a really interesting design. It's horribly flawed and it's terribly stupid. If the hard drive on this fails, it will never launch again, so I definitely need to back that hard drive up. There are ways to modify this with Free McBoot to load PlayStation 2 games off a hard drive. Because the PlayStation 2 portion still works fine, it just won't read the discs. But the PSX is just notorious for having that issue. Do not buy one of these if it's not tested working with photos. If you just want it for PlayStation 1 games and it says it just plays PlayStation 1 games, totally buy it. If you want it for PS2 games, make sure it works for them. If it doesn't load up, that means the hard drive is dead and they are encrypted to the unit and you need a key. That key has not been figured out yet. So if that hard drive is dead, it is a gigantic paperweight. Although if this ever does die, I think I'll use the case to build something inside of it. I think it would be a really fun sleeper PC, a little mini ITX. I think it's big enough that you could fit that. But yeah, that's the PSX. I think it does an excellent job of playing PlayStation 1 games, and I'm sure it would do an excellent job of playing PlayStation 2 games as well. I may modify this to allow PlayStation 2 games to boot off the hard drive, but I honestly have a PlayStation 2 right next to me that plays both Japanese, PAL, and NTSC games. So honestly, do I really need to do that? Probably not, but knowing me, I love modding things. I'll probably get around to it at some point in time. But yeah, why did I buy this? Well, outside of the fact that I may have had a few beers and I was on eBay, I just figured if I needed a PlayStation 1 Japanese variant, I may as well buy something a little more interesting. Do I recommend you pick one up? Absolutely not. This thing breaks just by looking at it the wrong way. It's gigantic and it's hard to use. Short of that, that is the PSX DVR. It's a really weird design, PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 1 with a full DVR system in it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Love chatting with you guys. I'll have videos throughout the week as well. Do me a huge favor, go down below, hit like, subscribe, and that notification bell. Definitely helps us out. And do yourself a favor, don't buy one. Bye-bye.